can you talk a little bit about the leaders because that is how your model works and how one can become a leader or even get more involved in WESOS in their community if it's outside of Illinois, let's say. Right. Well, if you're, if you're outside of Illinois, you can go to um, WESOSnetwork.com mm-hmm. and you know find out a little bit more about us there um, and the, the possibility of starting your own chapter. Um, the, the, main, the main talent that our, all of our leaders have is that they have a giving heart and they understand that leadership, our leaders lead from behind. So they're not there to, um, to tell their members what to do, but to right. create a sense of community. Okay. And that's one of the things that I've really, I've really d- done a deep dive into what a community means and how a community runs. So that's why when you walk into a WESOS meeting, you'll start, the, the leader will always start with the intention. Yeah. The leader will always have, um, most of the time, have a presenter. So, and we get that the presenter from our pool of members. Okay. So you have an opportunity to speak. We have many women who started speaking at WESOS and were terrified, me being one of them, and now do a lot of public speaking. Okay. And know that they got their roots with WESOS. Well, that's good practice in a safe environment where people are going to give good feedback. And Well, that's one of the things I tell everybody. If this is the safest, safest environment for a woman to come out and be seen. Sure. You know, and a lot of women are very nervous just even getting giving, getting up and doing their 30-second pitch. Okay. Because they're just not used to doing that. And they get so much encouragement. And yeah. it, it, just, it just really warms my heart to, to see women that... I mean, uh, I'll call out uh, Stacy Montgomery, who does uh, curriculums for schools for children to find their superpowers. I was sitting in the room when she said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about... So it's concept. Yes. Okay. And, and she, you know, she was, had her own stationery, and she had her own... Um, she's a very talented art, artist, uh, but she said, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help children find their superpower. I believe her son was bullied. So every okay. entrepreneur has, yeah, has, some, their, yeah. has their story. Um, she's so successful now. She's getting into all these schools. And she's and I, th- to me, when I see a success story like that, I know yeah. that this model can work. That's amazing. I love it. So you said giving heart. And that's not something you hear every day in business. So when you started out doing this, did you get pushback from other people <gasps> who were like, oh, that doesn't, what, what is she talking about? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and I didn't know. And again, I didn't. It was almost better that you yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about it working, working, right, right. you know, I You're like, this is me. And yes, yeah. this is where I want women to be able to come. And I want women to, um, to be seen and heard. Uh, one of the things that I tell everybody all the time. Um, so this last election was a very divisive election and, um, the day, the day, uh, the day after the election. So we had a meeting on a Wednesday, uh, we had women from both sides of the aisle come to a WESOS meeting because that's where they would feel safe. Okay. And even though not everybody was agreeing and not everybody was okay with how the election went, there were people who were okay with it, and we were still a community, and we were still this community of women supporting women, and everybody talked. Well, there was, there was some people who were doing shots, you know, <laughs> at 11 o'clock in the morning, but... Um, there were many people who were crying, yeah. It, but it was everybody let everybody have their space, yeah. And it was a safe space. And to me, when I watched that happen, I was like, okay, this is really something. Yeah, yeah. And I, I like being able to come together two different sides and have an intelligent discussion. Absolutely. Whether you agree or not, it doesn't really matter. But at least you can come together and talk about it. Absolutely. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's just that giving heart. You don't hear that message a lot. So yeah. I could have just imagined people are like, what is she talking about? I had many people who say, Jean, you're not that unique. You think you're so unique. And so then I started doing my own little polling. Like, why do you keep coming back to WESOS? Right. Why do you keep coming back? Because we had a lot of professionals that were coming back. And they said it's really true networking because you always meet somebody new. It's not That's a good point. going yeah. to the same 10 people and handing out business cards. And this is somebody I met that might need you to paint their house. Right. And then you have to still do the cold, cold call. If I'm actually sitting next to someone at a meeting and they get to know me, you know, we always say people know, like, and trust, you know, that's who you buy from. Right. Um, so to, to have the people actually come, it's good for the people who can come. 
Yeah, I was going to say that because sometimes if everybody already knows each other and then you're the newbie, it's like, ugh. Yeah, and that, that's never allowed. Right. The newbies at a WeSos meeting, are, are we clap for them. Yeah. We're very excited that they're yes, there. If that you're new, you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're new, please stand up. Um, so we're, we're very, very much in support of meeting new people all the time. 